Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Thursday, July 14th. The Gospel passage for today's Daily Mass comes to us from the 11th chapter of St. Matthew's Gospel. It reads, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. These comforting words of Jesus Christ are balm for our weary souls. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. And this is what we need, this is what we want, especially in these contemporary days. However, the next line of the gospel passage makes this rest contingent on something else. Jesus says that we need to take his yoke upon ourselves and learn from him if we want to find rest. And this means that the rest that only Jesus can provide comes from a life of discipleship by being yoked to him. And this does make sense. For those who are unfamiliar with a yoke, it is designed to hold two animals together in order to pull some piece of equipment. The yoke helps the animals work together to accomplish their task. However, The yoke can also help the animals because if one of them is weaker or one of them is struggling, the yoke makes sure that the stronger animal can help and assist the other. So the yoke may look to some people as being restrictive, as being controlling, but the yoke is meant to make the job of the animals easier. Therefore, when Jesus asks us to be yoked to him, He's asking us to do a couple things. First and foremost, he's asking us to surrender ourselves so we can't go in our own direction and we have to let go of anything that's keeping us from him so that we can move in the right direction with him. So this action of surrendering requires us to use our freedom to choose Jesus Christ over anything else found in this world. And if we're truthful with ourselves, maybe we're even yoked to some things of this world and we don't even know it. That we're being pulled down the wrong direction because we're not using our freedom well. And the second reality is, is that if we follow Jesus, the rest he gives is found in the fact that he's going to help us carry the load that we have in our lives. Yes, there will still be difficulties in the pulling and tugging of our lives. But again, being yoked to Christ makes all the difference in the world, especially in the extremely difficult moments of our lives. And I think that many of us know that the experience of our lives could have been so much worse. But Jesus Christ was there providing his strength, his hope, and his grace. Therefore, it would be more hopeful in this world if more people found Christ, yoked themselves to him, and allowed him to carry the burdens that they are currently carrying alone. And also to push this image even further, we know that sin actually separates us from Christ. It unyokes us from our Lord and Savior. So we just have to be careful that our sins don't separate us from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because when we do sin, we don't have that same strength, hope, and grace that's found in Christ. We are moving alone. But also we acknowledge that our Lord and Savior does not grow angry with us. He is the good shepherd who goes and seeks the one lost sheep. So we just have to make sure that we, when we do fall, make sure that we become yoked back to Christ again and not let the worst moments of our lives, the failures of our lives define us, us, but let this knowledge that if we as disciples of Christ remain yoked to him, we will have his grace, his mercy, his love to help and support us throughout all aspects of our lives. Our Lady of Victory. Pray for us.